What's the biggest Lego set of all time? This set is the Ninjago City, which is Lego set 70620. It has 4,867 pieces, 16 minifigures, originally goes for $300 and was released in September 2017. And so as we go along the each floor, I'm going to go over each individual minifigure that I we come across. So we'll probably start off with her right here. And as we go up to the city, and this thing is super tall, so I mean it even goes past my little area, so I'm just going to go over each level individually. First off, I'm going to go over the first level, as I call it. I mean, I just think of this as the first first sec floor, second floor. This is, as I call it, the first level. And this part is from bags one through six. And it's a very interesting part of it. So this is the main structure. Um, I, I was actually going to release a speed build of it, but so much crap stopped me from doing that. I actually have some footage from it, and I'll probably put it... Um, I'll leave a link to it. I'm probably I'm gonna probably release parts of it. Like I I'll just release the first like f uh, four bags of it where I put on all the water and um, yeah I just lost footage from seven of the of sixteen bags, but the water design is really cool. So I'm gonna start from the kind of go around um, starting over here. This kind of lamp post area has a little sign, kind of cool structure. It helps kind of connect these and they'll actually connect, but it helps with the structure of it and. Uh, sidewalks are very detailed. I love the size of them and how thick they are. This is supposed to be like a sewage pipe. Just a little bit of texture to show sewage water. Um, little frogs. And this is our first figure, Sally. Um, basically, mostly every figure in this set is exclusive. She has a little frog. Um, there's another little frog, too. And a lot of cool textures. Um, we have this nice little post right here that helps connect from the second level. It has a have a little crab, silver crab. It just looks kind of cool. Next little area also, there's this, this is where you get structure. This little phone booth, which is kind of cute. You know, they put that in. I really like this design, and I love the little kind of, just the design of it. it's really nice. I mean, a lot of the textures in this set are great. And I'll show you the inside of the buildings later, but a lot of the kind of writing in this set, I love how they just design this whole thing. It's just kind of perfect to me. And, I don't know, the design is just really good. That's all I can really say about it. And, um, this is really cool looking. I love this texture here, but I'll show you the building individually. I'm mostly showing the base plate kind of area. A lot of greenery. Um, these plant pieces on ball joints that can move. Little lily pads. And the bridge is a nice design. I love how they ended this part off. I put this sticker on poorly, but... Still, you know, cool design there. Um, I'll show you how the elevator works. I complete put this whole thing assembly back together. Like cool structure back here. And I spin it around. And this is what the back looks like. This is where the main elevator part is. I'll just show you that real quick. This is what it looks like. Um, has a lot of kind of pieces in there, which are um, really good. You kind of just use and just good part use from that one. Um, good sidewalk structure. I love this little control panel here. And uh, let me take a close look at the book, at the uh, the boat, the minifigure. Minifigure, he is, uh, what's his name? I think his name is, oh, uh, his name is, it says, Codermand or something like that. I don't know. Just has a hat on the back of him, a fish and a spear. And this is what his little boat is. At least made up with these kind of hinge pieces together. It has a lot of room. Probably has room for two or three figures. And I usually attach the bottom with like this pad, little pad area right here. As you can see, the water is some good texture. I love the texture of these right here, which is a fun assembly. Um, kind of sidewalked area. And there's the Technic pins. I don't know why they're there. I'm sure we'll figure out soon. I think my, I've heard something about maybe a dock set. I don't know. Um, I'll show you the insides of these, but... This figure, his name is, let's call him a Jamonikai villager. Um, he just has a frog in the back with him. Regular hat, nothing too special about him. He's just kind of a little, kind of no-name type figure. 
Um, but yeah, that's really it for the, the kind of base around it. Now I'm actually going to show you the buildings. And I'll show you the um, elevator later on. And also there's this little kind of railing, which you'll see a lot of later on. But um, basically you have to take these parts off. And they come off really easily. So um, there's a sweeper robot. I won't really show you him. He's not like a figure. I kind of count him, at, kind of, kind of count him as one. I don't know, I guess I'll show you. But uh, that's just what he kind of looks like. And this is a little charging station. That's all that really is. Nothing too special. It's one of the probably the worst building of a set, but it's not too bad, honestly. This is um crowbars, I love that. <laughs> um, this is just a little fish market and it has a crab and two fish. That's really it, just a little market area. And those fit in really well. I use a train track piece. It's a lot of weird pieces in here. Um this is a tea shop. This is one of the more fun buildings to make. There's still a few stuff in there. There's a hair piece uses this bonsai. Um this figure her name is Ivy. She just has a diamond and you know this kind of her design. I don't really mind many figure printing as what other people do. Love the design of this place though, the little tiger and the cups. And you're just able to put that back on. And there's a little railing right here to many figures to walk through. And this has a sliding door as well, along with this one. This is this is a uh, just an apartment. Nothing much special here, just kind of the same thing. There's a TV that says Good Morning Ninjago. A little bed and some cabinets. Nothing much for that one. It does have a good design here. And mainly just kind of snap that back on. What just happened? This mainly just fell off, but yeah, just make sure it kind of fits back on there. And that's mostly this first level. Nothing too much. It's mostly just the base plate, but it does have some good designs in there. But really, the second level is probably the best of the set. Next part is the second level of it, and this is obviously the best part of it. it has the third, fourth level, and this is from bags seven through twelve, and just honestly, a good part of the set. And there's a lot of figures um, that usually get. I don't have mostly the perfect. I just have them in the spots where I kind of like them. Um, I'm actually going to start with this little boy, starting this whole part off, and his name is Tommy. He has a little kind of uh, green ninja shirt, which is kind of neat, a little easter egg. And he's in front of the comic book shop, which let me take off this whole fourth floor. That's a whole assembly that comes off, you know, comes off there. Um, this is the comic book shore, store, <laughs> the comics, um, you can actually take this whole part off too. So you can get better access in there, but it says comics. This is the Black Panther headpiece, which I think is a neat, very cool way to spell that out. On um, the inside's interesting. Um, you actually have some knickknacks and stuff like that, and you have this whole poster that says Believe. One of my favorite parts of the set, probably, besides, I mean, one of my favorite kind of Easter eggs, I guess. Believe. <laughs> kind of just attach it from studs. But you take that out, and you're able to see the inside of that. I'll show you a little more closely. You have a rack full of action figures. You have, um, actually, I have no idea what the heck is in there. Um, you have mainly just action figures, a counter, um, some cards, um, which a lot of Easter eggs. Like there's a, a Chima card, Unikitty one, Lord Lloyd Carmagon from the old series, and you have a bunch of Starfire comics, which I actually have. I had one of these. It was an exclusive book, but I lost it. But this has some extra copies of those, so. Uh, kind of extras up those and um, yeah, really cool have this little store. It's really small, but I like it. And this is the um, what's his name? Uh, Mother Doomsday. He was in the TV show, but I like how they have him in here. And he has a funny little Galador shirt, so I like that and a little ponytail. And you actually fit, don't fit them on studs; you fit them on those little slots that they use mostly in Star Wars. So. Really cool, and you just kind of put this back on. I hope I put this back on the wrong way, like that. It looks really good. This next part is the ATM, and this figure right here is a guy. I don't know, I just call him Guy. I think that's a name. And this ATM is really interesting. First off, um, you can access it. There's these little ads too. Trial Byte RR, a little surfboard thing. You can actually, that's the only one that can move down. And inside the ATM, which I'll show you. Um, a really cool design. Oops. <laughs> this whole part of it is not supposed to come off kind of like that. Good detailing in there. It looks good. And you have a whole thing of money in there. And there's a little 
thing in the back that you push, you push that, and the money will come out. So, I mean, that usually will come out the full way out, but it's still kind of cool there. You can usually put this back in, that just works really well. Good feature. Put this back up. Nice. A little advertisement here, nothing much special. A little kind of build over here for this main part. A little crab build, nice. Um, and the main way to get inside this is like a crab shack. Kind of open that up, and you have this uh, chef guy. His name is Servian Black. Cool figure. I think they allow you to have transform into the chef upstairs. And I'm probably just seeing a sushi chef minifigure from the minifigure series. And this is one of my favorite places. You have free seats in there. I'm kind of crowded, but I think it's neat. They have some tools. Um, there's little drawers and there's bananas in there. Kind of hard to get in there, but there's regular banana in that drawer, and this one has a gold banana. Kind of just close those back up. And you just have a rack of tools, like they give you a force hammer piece, a bunch of other wacky tools, and obviously the main part of this is their uh, feature. So I'll run. There we go. Just have to set that back up. You put a uncooked crab in there, close it up, and you twist this knob, which I'll show you. And yeah, there you go. What? Just reset it like that. Cool little restaurant, and you can just open the door. Kind of like that. And I had a little joke where. Davy Jones went in there to eat because, well, he's a crab, so kind of cannibalism. Um, some more advertisements. X, um, I don't really get those references. Um, nice design. These, this is weird. There's not on both sides, but um, this is made up of like a bunch of little circular pieces and you insert them inside the piece, which is kind of weird. This is an officer minifigure. It's Officer Noonan. I think that's her name. Um, nothing too special. Um, just kind of a police officer, and this is a. They randomly just throw in this little gunner figure. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why it's called a gunner. He was a gunner in like one of the sets. He, the rest of them, he's just kind of like a soldier. So I don't know. Still a cool figure, I guess. I don't know. Kind of just an army builder. Um, just a nice design over here. This little target thing. This is the whole movie theater slide, and you can remove each of them. This is a, um, I usually don't keep that one out. To access all of them, I'll show you each one individually actually. Um, you just open this little door area and you slide this out. There's all of them. So you get each form of Hibbert is a Skeletor one. Um, you get this little video game thing. Um, tired of walking. And this is just a little movie theater poster. I usually tend to put the Galador one up. I don't know why that one was up. But, um, really cool kind of idea since, um, the fourth floor doesn't have much for this area kind of over here by the elevator. Kind of just slide that in. Here goes this Officer Noonan. But honestly, the third floor is probably the best. I don't know. This back area mainly just has this kind of elevator. Um, place where you put that. This is where the feature works. You just twist that and this little rubber band will react to it. Um, this is where the ATM feature happens and this is the kind of part in this little tube kind of area, which is neat. Um, this little area again so you get to the fourth floor. But honestly, the third, this is probably the best level, most entertaining to build. With that, you cover it up with the fourth floor or the other part of the, the second level. This Part is um, it's all it's mainly just one store. Um, you have a you know obviously the gate you kind of get over there. I don't know how you get over you don't really get over here. Um, you mainly go in there's just the ladder, but uh, get to this part. But this is just a door that goes inside a construction site area, which just has a, some parts to make up this tree, which we've shown, and mostly just the elevator area. So you just turn this around. Of course, I'll show everything when it's all put together, but um, this is Juno. Good, really good figure here. I like her. Um, she kind of just fits in there. Um, same thing as the Doomsday guy, where you can have a slot. There's just a random door for no reason. But this is just the main place you go. This is the only really reason people go to this floor. So, I've got a skateboard, I think hats, cell phones, golden frog, just a bunch of random stuff. Um, racks of clothes. As you can see, there's a lot of hats and stuff, which are neat. I really like this little knight's hat here. 
there's some mascots sitting at the window. Honestly, those are more of many figures than the robot, but you know. Uh, honestly, interesting low level, but that's really it for this one. And you just have this little window design, which is neat, but Juno's really the only figure I usually put up in this one. This level is actually made up of two parts, so I'm going to show you the first one. I usually think of it, um, it's, just, it's basically its own separate thing, I feel like. This is its actually own bag, too, so 13 is basically this, and then 14 for 16 is uh, rest of level 3. This is honestly one of my favorite parts. You had just open this up and there's a gate. I'll, when I um, put this whole thing together, I'll show you this, but this assembly is really good. Um, you have Lloyd's secret little uh, suit, which is not really exclusive, but you kind of just put that. I need to make sure I put it like this, and you have like a little uh, cone thing there. And that's where you put, I usually have Miss Sago. I don't know if she's exclusive or not. I don't think she is. I think she, actually, yeah, I think she is. But, uh, yeah, for this, it's just a regular version of her. Nice hairpiece mold. Um, inside there's a, another TV that says Good Morning Ninjago. There's a microwave, a kind of counter, a lot of knickknacks on this wall. Um, and this is kind of a, I'll show you the design, actually. Hold on me. So this whole part comes out, and there's a little thing, design there. I can't tell what that says, but this is just a little coal. I don't know what that's supposed to be, honestly. But that's really it for this little area. But um, this is mainly Lloyd's home. I like how they introduced this in the set, so they actually have a part for that. This is one of the hardest assemblies to build. I need to build two of these. Um, there's a bunch of these kind of Technic pin pieces in a row, but I like that. And then the main portion of the, the third level is this, which is the main roof and has a sushi bar. Um, I wish they could have given you an extra figure for this, the sushi bar, instead of having one minifigure be two. Um, but still, that's just a minor complaint. Nice little use of the doors, um, so advertisements. So this is probably like the biggest restaurant in the Ninjago City. It's a nice little squid build. Um, and I'll show you the um, puffer fish one, but the bar, uh, mainly you can just twirl it around. It kind of moves nicely. Sometimes it'll get stuck, but then you just gotta push it harder and it'll go back to normal. Fish, a uh, little uh, butcher's knife. Um, you have Lloyd, who's, I don't think he's exclusive, but a nice add-in. Kai, who is, and he's the, um, I now have all the ninjas in their regular uniforms. Um, just kind of the regular clothes, I mean. Because um, Kai is exclusive to this set. Jay is not. He's just kind of randomly thrown in there. Um, good figure though. I mean, I think I have a bunch of Jays now. <laughs> it's had a lightning jet. But still, cool part. And then here's the porcupine head. This is actually the last. This and this are like some sign. But these two are the last builds you assemble. Which I think is, uh, you know, interesting. Um, little troll tower. I'm not, I'm not really going to show the back there. I'll show you that later, but um, this is the main tower. Well, fishing with use of fishing pole pieces twice for the towers. Um, good use, I feel like. Obviously, you can take this whole part out. There's the secret little hidden stuff. Um, and this is just another assembly area. I don't know. This build, the center build for the hole, I think is really interesting when you actually build it. You take that off, and this is a restroom. Interesting how they built that. Um, a lot of stuff in here, interesting. Um, bathroom. I don't know why that's open like that. Uh, maybe you can peep in there. Peep in Tom. That's just kind of the inside area of that. But that's actually it for this roof. But there is a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of things you can do with the city, which is the main draw to it. So now, and obviously you also have these seats right here as well. So now I'm actually going to show everything together. So here is the back itself, and this is what it actually looks like in total, so that each floor will actually connect with each other. Obviously, here's this, I'll show you the elevator as it goes up. This is the third level, kind of just come out here for the stairs. Fourth level, you just kind of, you know, of course, go through there. Clamp is very good. Oops. Yeah, that menu is kind of at the edge there, but yeah. Um, and then when you want to go to the fifth level, kind of just go up and just boop. Yeah, 
then I guess they just, I don't know why they have this. I think it's just to get over here, I guess. I guess they, they have to climb up here. I don't know, but that's how you get to Lloyd's home, I guess. You just open that door. But honestly, the set is just so good. So really good. It's such a big, complete structure to me. Except for the construction site, which has not been constructed fully, but it does have this beautiful tree. And just the set is so amazing together. Like, it's just so tall. It's very, very tall. I mean, you can actually see my mirror there. That's how tall it is. And just huge. That's all I can really say. It's a huge set. Of course, stuff here. Of course, it slides. Um, everything is huge. It's just that big. 5,000 pieces about. And um, final thoughts on this. It's just fun to build. I mean, it was more depressing around the end because it was over, but um, actually for building it, I built the first 10 bags um, Saturday and the last six on Sunday, which is actually when I'm filming this. And just a good set, really good quality set. I'm, I'm going to add more figures to this because I have a lot more figures. Like I'm going to add the Sushi Chef and the minifigure series and a bunch of other minifigures I have that I'm going to put around this. Um, but definitely, um, uh, I just, I'm just depressed because, like, uh, speed build is lost, so, I'll, part of it, so, I'll, I'll release the first four bags and I'll just do that to make myself happy. I'll upload that same day as this, so, probably a few minutes afterwards. Such a good set, though. I honestly, honestly recommend this. I know Lego God really wants this set. Shout out to him, basically, because he helped me helped me with this channel. He helped me get up to this point where I actually have the set. And it used to be my sixth favorite set. Um, and now it's my third, definitely, now that I actually have it built. But just a, such a quality set. So Lego needs to make more like this. I wish they made more play sets. Like, the biggest Lego set of all time is a vehicle. I wish it was like a play set or something. So, I'm just glad I have this. So... I mean, honestly, it would have been number one. It's probably the best set I own. But the Port of Atlantis and Lightning Dragon are always going to be my favorites because of the memorability of them to me. And also, I just enjoyed this set. So, And I will actually remake my Top 20 Favorite Lego Sets video to around May, so check that out when that comes out, and check out the one I have out now, it's one of my first videos on this channel, so come check that out, I'll um, leave a link to the description, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and bye guys. Try to make it work, man, these times are hard, but we're gonna stop by drinking old cheap bottles of wine, sit talking up all night, saying things we haven't for a while. Why, yeah, we're smiling, but we're close to tears.